doing a short Monster Hunter stream today. Uh, ch -ch 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 -ch. Hey. hey. Yeah, wasn't really in the mood to do more Bloodborne tonight. The new Monster Hunter event is live, and eh, I just. I just wanted to do some of the event and also avoid burning out on Bloodborne a bit. I've been doing a lot of it. And I just want to take it take a break with it for now. Let's just make a bunch of Nergigante gems with all the gold Wyvarian tickets we got. Always helpful to have more of those since those make the health regen items. First I wanted to do Midnight Mayhem, get the special Midnight Mayhem tickets so I could make the uh, Sapphire Star Lance just so I can have it. Not even sure I'll use it that much. Mm. Wait a minute, it's a paralysis weapon if I remember correctly. I'll probably totally use that. We're gonna get like a full set of vouchers every day, so may as well burn them up. Um, tonight's mostly gonna be farming for stream stones from Tempered Devil Joe and uh, yeah, farming stream stones from Devil Joe and uh, decorations from. Giant Jagras. Nothing too crazy going on tonight. Just wanted a nice, short, relaxed stream. Just kick back and enjoy myself a bit. Not that I haven't been enjoying myself with Bloodborne, I just wasn't in the mood for it tonight. That music is really familiar. I think I recognize it from MH3. That's not... No, that's not... Joggy's theme. That's not the great Joggy's theme. That's something else. Well, that was really easy. It's basically just a free weapon.
and free Gastodon parts. Not that I'll use them much, but here they are. Simple enough. Let's just make this lance. Uh, I still gotta do a bunch of Colby Taroth farming. God, that shit takes forever, especially without a team. If I had a team, I'd do just fine, but my problem is all my friends play on PC and I'm here on PS4. Uh, and. I don't want to start my character over on PC because this character's got like 800 plus hours on him. So, I guess. <sighs> Very unfortunate. So yeah, so they're doing a whole month of celebration and for every week they're doing a different festival that happens throughout the year. Lance. Raw para blast, yep, okay. And then I need two more first fleet tickets. Whatever. Hmm. hmm. Ah, sorry about all the chair squeaking. Uh, but I could kill these things even faster with my, uh, where is it? There it is. My Paralysis Axe build. Uh, I gotta look through my notes real quick. Just for later when I fight, uh, ooh, whoops, didn't mean to do that. Uh, Great Jagras obviously is pretty much weak to everything. Yeah. Uh, and then Devil Joe has two star weakness to all ailments, and then high weakness to thunder and dragon. <clears throat> I'll figure it out. Shame that he has a low weakness to ice since I have the KR Ice Charge Blade, which is like. The strongest ice weapon in the game right now.
Easy peasy. This is one of the best weapons in the game, by the way, the Kiar Paralysis one. Because it does a lot of damage. Like, um, if you build it right, it does comparable damage to um, the Diablos uh, charge or switch axe. Did I say charge blade? Yeah, it does comparable damage to the uh, the the devil or not devil Joe the Diablos one um, if you build it right. But this one also has an added paralysis effect on top of that. the The difference is the crit because this one has innate uh, like ten or twenty percent crit right off the bat. And the Diablos one has, like, negative 30%. So this one gets higher crit faster. So even though it does... Uh, even, even though it does generally less damage on a big hit, it'll do more damage overall because it gets crit more often, especially with uh, critical, critical boost. Um, I think... Uh, Teroth Axe Horn might beat this one out though, just because Teroth Axe Horn is rare 7 instead of rare 8, so it gets that extra augment slot that you could put crit into. Uh, the, uh, that extra augment slot, I feel like going from 30% or negative 30% affinity to negative 20% affinity would go a long, long way. My personal take on it, obviously. Uh, I haven't fiddled with the numbers too much on that just yet. I like to do a lot of build crafting, theory crafting, stuff like that. Um, but yeah, that's not one I've fiddled around with too much. Just between comparing uh, Axe of Demons and Kyar, Charge Blade, uh, or I keep saying Charge Blade, uh, the Kyar Axe. Uh, paralysis or whatever. Kyrax Num, Kyrax Paralysis. Uh, this one gets pretty close and you have the added paralysis bonus, so this one wins out. Plus, it's just fun as hell to use. And it's got that Technicolor rainbow shimmer on it over top of the 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 flat gold color to the blade. I'm not usually a big fan of gold, but I like uh, I like the really soft color of the white gold. I don't really like really like deep or garish shades of yellow. What are we waiting for? The new world awaits. I want to save those vouchers for um the Devil Joe. The Devil Joe, of course, is just Streamstone Central, so, or the yeah, the Tempered Devil Joe. So that's where I want to get all my shit from. Ooh, I may need to bring Dragonproof Mantle for that fight. I don't know. I haven't fought Tempered Devil Joe in a while, so I might do just fine with this setup. Easy, easy, clear. Ooh, we missed one over there. No big deal.
really deteriorating my sharpness by hitting all those corpses. Is doing a bit of uh, more more fighting practice. All right, gonna craft that lance, and then we're gonna do some uh, some some tempered devil Joe. Some, some tempered Joe. Some hot coffee. That's what I'm going to call him from now on. I'm going to call him the hot coffee. Does anybody want coffee? Nice. Yeah, uh, I, 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 my progression of items that I used is I, I used to do a lot of um, elemental weapons, and then I moved on to raw, and now I've been enjo really enjoying um, status affliction weapons. Status affliction weapons are a lot of fun for me, honestly. Ooh, gotta cross some stuff out on this list. Especially paralysis. It's a ton of fun. If you get a coordinated team that's all using paralysis weapons, you can really do some serious damage to a monster with a two or three star weakness to it. The nice thing about status conditions too is that they build up at a relatively static rate. So even if, so, using gems that increase them doesn't do too much for that unless you're fighting a really long tedious fight uh so you don't have to invest in things like critical status or extra status gems or shit like that there we go uh i have no idea where to start to find this guy I'm assuming I'll probably find him somewhere around like area 8 or something like that. Oh shit. I'm running out of uh Demon drugs. Gonna have to fix that. And demon powder. Oh, Jesus. Uh, well, hopefully I'll get a bunch of stuff I need right off the bat. Uh... 
item pouch. Sort these. Oh boy. Yeah, last I did this fight, he kicked my ass, so let's see how this goes with my really good, strong paralysis build now. drink just in case. We'll start with Temporal just until I can figure out how to fight him. Not here. I oh, down in the in the in in the fiery place. Okay. Let I drink a cool drink then. Damn, he take big steps. Hello. All right, it's time. Ooh, enraged already. And get a free mount off this hill. There we go.
Damn, this dude's all over the place. Next area. Do a quick refresh and restock. I'm not speed running this fight, so I can take my time and restock when I need to. What's my tracking status looking like? Okay, full tracking, so I'll know when he's not doing so hot. Speaking of hot... Oh, ha <laughs> ha! Oh, that's hot! The Will Smith noises continue. Nothing fills me with a deeper sense of joy than Will Smith going, Ah! Just Will Smith making those guttural noises just fills me with a very strange sense of joy. Jesus. I forgot to pack null berries. Oh, God. Uh... Put our temporal mantle back on.
certainly doesn't make his head easy to hit when he's enraged. change strategies a little bit we are going to switch to charge blade see how that works out for us Uh oh. This ain't good. Oop, my defense is now below 400. Is he gonna eat me again? Oh, okay, so that jump attack just insta eats me. Got it. Oh, fantastic. Great. Ah, <laughs> oh, shit. We're going to change strategy again. Clearly, I... The problem is I was trying too hard to block everything, but you can't block that, that jump. Time for old reliable. Whoops. That's annoying. Parry that one. Whoops. Oof.
Oh, come on! The cat drew aggro. You fucking kidding me? Stupid fucking cat. Definitely still a hard fight, that's for sure. I'm also just bad, apparently. Uh, it just takes practice. I'm just not as well versed in this fight as I should be. I haven't I've only done it like once or twice Should probably give the cat something different though something Because when you use the longsword your goal is to draw aggro Uh, sucks though, all my spirit gauge went away. That's the price of getting killed. Probably should just give the cat something like, uh, bombs or, uh, vigor wasps though. Well, I parried the roar, but I didn't get anything out of it. Ah, oh, sweet. That brought the Devil Joe down to capture range. That's great. Yeah, I'm figuring out how to do this fight more effectively, though. So that's a win. Even when you fail, it's a win. Gotta hurry. One, two. There we go. I kept the basil off me long enough for me to capture, so that's good. Definitely gotta readjust my strategy though. That wasn't too good. I almost failed that one. Oh boy, another critical jewel.
We'll try that one again, see how well we do the, ne uh, the next time. There should be enough Mega Demon drugs to keep us going for a while. And should be enough Demon Powder as well. Extend the duration of that. No, not chef choice. We want to just go meat. Do this one again. He starts down in the lava area, so I want to start northwest. Alright. I'm going to switch the feline over to just the healing stuff, because I feel like that'll probably be best for her to carry. It'll keep me alive longer, and the shield... I don't want the shield constantly drawing aggro, because I want to be able to parry as much as I can. Alright, so we're going to go in here. Change Palico equipment. We're going to do the rock steady mantle first, and we're going to eat a max potion once we take a few hits. And that'll bring us up to full HP. Where is that absolute unit? Ah, okay. I'm on the. I'm. In, I'm on the. I'm in. I'm going in the right direction. Perfect.
Oof. Oh, it's right there. I'm being stupid. Too good for me. Ooh, baby. Okay. We're good. Ugh. Heal me. Thank you. This is a bad spite to this is a bad spot to fight. Whew, baby. This is definitely a tough one. Fortunately, my healing, my, my, my heal slave is pretty consistent. The thing about these late game hunts is that they're almost always easier to do with a team because you can coordinate, because uh, because you can coordinate things like status ailments and knockdowns. That's how uh, a lot of the pro teams do it, like Team Darkside and guys like that. I gotta try to eat now. Uh oh. Don't you do it. Don't you fucking do it. The trick is to keep him hungry.
Perfect. You just don't want him to eat. This is ruining my sharpness, though. Whew. Whoa, that was close. He almost got me in his uh, in his unblockable grab. I want to hit that that crack spot in his chest. Very bad angle to attack from. Oof, he does that one real quick. Oh, are you kidding me? That two hits. That's a multi-hit attack. Oh yeah, I'm out of uh, the healing stuff. Oh well. Fortunately, he's running off for now, so we can finally rejuvenate. <sighs> this is going much better already, though. Even when he defense downs me, it only gets brought down to 400, so I'm still well above the low HP, or the low defense threshold. Well, not well above, but I'm seven points above the low defense threshold for late game.
Stop moving so much, damn it. God. He's turning so quickly. And he's going to sleep, so I've won. I beat him. Very good. Ah, <sighs> geez, certainly don't make it easy, though. I couldn't even imagine doing this fight with Bo. Oh my god. With Bo, that'd be intense. I need more people to play with, though. I'm so lonely on PlayStation. All my friends are off on PC. Nice. Hero Streamstone Sword. Warrior Streamstone Axe. Warrior Streamstone Range. Yeah, I can make use of all those. Hero Streamstone, Streamstone Sword, I don't think I actually need to use now that I think about it. Because my Great Sword is at max upgrade, and I think all my Long Swords are max upgrade. So... Yeah, let me look. All right, well, that one requires a warrior, not a hero. I got that one all set. Yeah, so I actually don't need that one. Well, that's unfortunate. Huh. Uh, let's do, uh, let's do giant jaggers now. It's a good gem farm. Even if you lose, win or lose, you get good drops from it. Whoa. Impressive. It's a full meat platter.
Uh, two of those. Some of those. Ooh. Didn't mean to organize like that. Whoops. Oh well. When I rearrange my stuff, I can pretty much just hit the organize button every time. It doesn't really matter. Should get in touch with some of my PlayStation friends though, see if they just wanna play with me sometime. So I got like one or two that I could probably get together with at some point. Ah, my favorite mechanic in the game, when the birds do that. Oh, they're not birds, they're fucking reptiles. Maybe if they didn't crap out and drop me off in the middle of nowhere all the time, I'd give a shit. Ah, here he comes. Gotta let him eat it. Because him having a full belly is what gets you all the gems. There we go. And now we fight. Got to be careful of all that meat. The meat is where all the real damage comes from. There we go. What an inconvenient place to set up a Vigor Wasp. Ah, no more meat for this boy. Alright, see ya. Time to collect. Beautiful. Worked. Ooh. 
Ooh, that's not what I wanted. Warn. Warn. All right. Nice. Looking good. We've already got a few worn and a warped right off the bat. Um, so the jewels I'm looking for, I want from this, while, I, while this event's active, is I want one attack, one agitator, and one iron wall. And that's all I really, really want and or need. Need some tremor resist stuff for sure. Oof. Hit it. Perfect. He's throwing boulders. Let them just fight it out. Uh oh. He's hungry. So he will go eat. This is where the hard part begins. Ah! Got him. Whoa! Dangerous meat. Gotta watch out for the meat. Whoo, baby. Perfect. Take him down to Damage City. Mm -hmm. 
Oof. That was unfortunate. I missed. And now I'm on the other side of him. But it's okay, I've already gotten him to empty the contents of his stomach. And he's on low HP. Pretty good. Very well done. Great Jagras material over here. Over here. Mm, excellent. And now we just go get a capture for those easy rewards. Yeah, once you get him down to low health and you, and you fight him in his lair, he's not really going to eat anymore. So it's kind of pointless just to kill him because he's just not, there's, there's you're not going to get gems out of it because he has to eat to get gems. But finishing the quest, you get like I've maybe like three guaranteed warped face stones, which is really nice. Oh no, you just get a faux ticket, I guess. You get a bunch of worn face stones though, which is good. Okay, let's see what we got. Nope, 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 nope. Most of this is trash, all of it's trash. Most unfortunate. But can always just try again. Let me see. I wonder if I got any, um, if I got any Hero Streamstone Axe, then I should use that to upgrade or augment one of my charge blades. Back when I was fighting Devil Joe. Mr. Joey Man. Oh. Augment. Nope, I don't have any Hero Streamstone Axe. Most unfortunate. Hmm. So if I remember correctly, yeah, HR 50 or higher, so that counts as a uh, high level tempered fight. So we could just do some elder melding. We have 13 gleaming sphere stones, so we'll do three. I don't expect much to come out of these, but worth trying anyways. Nope. I got so much spare jewels. It's 
not even funny. It's insane how much spare shit I have. Ooh. Yeah, special ammo boost. That's nice. Do this one. Nothing. Oh well. Hmm. Well, like I said, I think I was going to make this a short stream because I didn't want to burn out on Bloodborne, but I still wanted to stream tonight. Not a whole lot going on, unfortunately, and I think I want to save the rest of my monster hunting for doing it with uh, my friends. So I think for now, I'm just going to call it early. Uh, just because uh, I'm, you know, I don't have a whole lot going on. And I'm getting a little tired, and eh, really, I don't have any excuses. I just want to pack up shop early. I wanted to do a bit of streaming, but I didn't want to get burnt out on Bloodborne, so I just figured I'd do a little bit of this. <sighs> but thank you to everybody who came, and thank you. To those of you on YouTube for watching so that'll be all for now have an excellent night everyone bye bye